Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to um, use the uh, simulation that I have created. So, um, once you're on the website, on the homepage, there will be a link to the, um, the simulation, so you just want to click on that. That will eventually load, so here, here is the simulation which I've created. So. Um, all you have to do is click this, and now um, there are bit of, there are some glitches that I was not able to fix for some reason. But all you really need to do once you have started the simulation is you want to drag the football, and place it on top of this football player over here. Now, as a user, you are able to change the um, vertical components and horizontal components of the velocity. Um, and in this case, once I am able to change this, you'll see that this football will track the way in a way such that it'll go in a projectile motion. So, and the ultimate goal is to land it on this player over here. So you can go ahead as the user play around with values. So I would set this maybe to eight and this seven, and um, this. As you see, it goes in a projectile, but it fails to get to the player. So. Um, so as a user, you can go ahead and play around, and if you don't want to see this again, you can click the reset button, and click this button again, just like that, so you can reset, now you can change the value, so, um, you know, values that could work, maybe 12, maybe, let's try 7, yeah, let's try 7. So once you click this, as you see, it tracks, it goes, but it misses the football player again, so we gotta fix that. Okay, that should probably work. Click reset again, click the start. So it's going, going, reaches its max height, and now as you see, the football player has uh, the football has the football has gotten to the football player, and he, he, over here he says I got it. So as a user, you can play around with different values. Click reset, and for this to go away, you have to click stop in general. So over here, it's more up to the user now that you can play with these values. It's like not there are not there are no set values for you for the user to use. You can play with around with any values that you think will work. And um, obviously, time is tracked as well. And uh, the simulation can be used to like determine what the maximum height is based off of kinematics um, equations that your teacher may have given you or your professor may have given you. And this simulation basically models a projectile in like shape. So calculations can be made, and you're playing around with the vertical and horizontal components of velocity. So the user is able to um, change. Um, is able to drag the football, able to change these components with the sliders here, and is able to undo the actions that they did before by clicking the reset button. Uh, so that is how you use the simulation.